Tomorrow's a big day. We are having 60 people come to our house and the forecast is showing rainy all day. We're not stressed out at all. It's okay. It's fine. We don't really have a plan B. Uh, we did get a tent and stuff like that. I just don't know if it's going to hold up if it like downpours and like 60 people are not going to fit in our house. I don't know how that's going to work. So I'm a little stressed out. <laughs> But it's all good. I mean, I told myself earlier this week, I can't control the weather, so there's no point of being stressed out about it. We have tables and tents and stuff for outside. I just like, if it downpours, I don't know if the tent is gonna like hold up. I don't know what the plan B is. We'll figure that out. It's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Chloe came in with the smoothies and snacks. What'd you get, Chloe? Juice? Chloe doesn't actually like smoothies. I don't know how we're sisters. By the way, you guys asked last time, what is in my smoothie? I'm gonna list it right here for you. I also add in a scoop of vanilla protein powder. I sometimes make it myself, but also I'm like very pregnant and tired, so. That's my excuse. This one's an oatmeal cookie smoothie, which I split into a smaller cup for Sage and she splits it with Matt. So when he gets back from, he's out right now picking up like orders, rentals, and doing all the errands while Chloe and I actually start setting up like the decorations today. Fun fact, this is like Sage's favorite smoothie in the whole wide world. And I made my own healthier version. This is healthy. I just like did some tweaks to it and made my own version, which is available in the toddler health nut cookbook, which is available for pre-order right now. I'll link it down below. But yeah, everyone's always asking for this smoothie recipe. It's really good, but I get the green stuff. So we're gonna fuel up on some protein smoothies and uh, figure out the game plan for decorating today. Okay, hey, smoothie, perfect. You just stay here while mommy and Tia Chloe get the party set up, okay? I was really worried these weren't gonna arrive in time, but they just got here today, a day before, I was gonna say the wedding. This is not a wedding, although it feels like it because there's a lot of people coming. These are gonna be the party favors for people to take home with them. I saw this idea on Pinterest, I think Chloe maybe saw it on Pinterest, and it was like from our shower to yours, and they had bottles of like bubble bath and stuff, but I thought we would do what my favorite thing is to use in the shower, which are soap bars from a specific company and they were so kind to send us some for the party i never used to be a soap bar person these are my favorite and like our house just smells so good right now from these they have a ton of different Please. scents Please. they're all like done like natural non-toxic no these are soaps smell them smell soap Okay, gentle. I've been using Luminance skincare for probably almost 10 years. No word of a lie. It's one of my favorite skincare brands and everything is just like handcrafted, beautiful ingredients. They smell incredible and they don't dry out your skin at all. Like good quality soaps don't dry out your skin. I have a coupon code I will link below for you guys to go check them out and some of my favorite products from them as well. Those are here. Uh, Chloe and I are gonna figure out the- oh. What? You got a cookie? Mm, um. Cookie monster! So the plan is for Chloe and I to do most of the decorating, figuring out where everything's gonna go, like the layout of the party. And then tomorrow morning, I have recruited some family members to come and help with like last minute. Don't mind my laundry in the back. <laughs> Good job. I feel like we don't have that much to do, but also we have a lot to do and I'm also very pregnant. So I need to recruit as much help as I can get. Our to-do list. No, You're probably going to be sleeping when we do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. House. House. Party. Party. To-do list. Do it. I want to do it. You want to do it? Yeah. We got to put up the banner. I tweet. You're doing great, Sage. I'm gonna have to redo my I'll list. Do it. Your bedtime yet? <gasps> this is a Ritzia. No. This is a Ritzia. Yeah, yeah it is. I want I thought she was gonna write on me. I right, got. Mommy's gonna take the pen. I got cookie on me. Wow, that was the first. It's going great. Okay. <laughs> so if you saw in one of my recent vlogs, I got all this really fun decor uh, from Zazzle. So we need to find spots for these signs. These are for the party favors. I'm gonna put on the soaps with the twine. We gotta hang 
this banner signed. Confetti's gonna go on the tables. We got napkins, plates, cups. We gotta figure out a spot for everything. I feel like I'm about to do some arts and crafts. We got all the soaps. I gotta take them out of the packages. Oh, they smell so good. I cannot rave about these enough. Lemongrass? Let's see how I wanna do this. So cute! Isn't that cute? Okay, only 44 more to go. We got more packages. Amazon just arrived, and I think it's like the final stuff for the party. We got some bamboo cutlery, spoons, forks. Huge box. I wanted little like easy party like take with you um, cups, so I'm gonna do it with these cupcake liners. Cute little party toothpicks. These are longer than I thought. Because this is like an indoor outdoor party, I didn't really want to do glass. Because there's like kids and I don't want glass in the grass, you know. And we have like a little mimosa bar and like drinks and stuff, obviously. So we have paper cups, but I wanted to do something a little fancier. These are actually reusable, like disposable cups. Anyways, they're stemless champagne glasses or plastic glasses. These look legit. But yeah, then you can just wash them and reuse them. They're like, like hefty. They're not cheap plastic ones. I'm gonna have a whole blog post for the party. I will link everything that I got for you guys. So if you like something, you can order it. The cake and the cupcakes are getting delivered tonight, which is fine because we need to have space in the fridge. And then Matt picked up the rest of the stuff. We have like the actual, like the main food being picked up on Saturday. We have these beautiful charcuterie boards um, that Matt picked up from the city today. We have donuts. We have a lot of food, I think. I think we're good for food, but like snacks are life. And I will not have a party without good food. So the plan is to put like a banner across here on top of the buffet. I gotta just remember what, I think I spelt, it was just baby sprinkle. And then it came with a rope to tie together. And I think I'm just gonna hang it with tape. We'll see what how it works. Also, Seiji is not napping, but Matt's gonna be here soon for backup. <laughs> testing it out so we know it's good for the party tomorrow. Chloe is giving us some good news. Oh my god, no rain. I was gonna say it's gorgeous today. Yeah. It like ended up being a really nice day. Guys, this has been the plan all along to have an outdoor party. It's not raining. That's great news. It's so hot. I had to put sunscreen on her. Also, bouncy castles are not bum friendly. I'm trying to clean up the fridge and finish off some leftovers. I have some pasta that Chloe made. And this is like a basil tofu stir fry rice that I made the other day. All right, so we got one table inside here. I got a bunch of these beautiful flowers. These blue ones are really cool. The plan is to do some flower arrangements in these three large mason jars. And then I'm gonna use some of the eucalyptus and like layer it on the table and also do the two outside, but we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, filled up the three bottles with some water and plant food so our flowers stay fresh. Mommy has to use the scissors though. Oh, no, 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 Ma these are sharp. Mommy has to use these. We gotta, we gotta try one. Yes. Okay, there you go. This is what I have so far. I'm loving the colors. I'm gonna add some eucalyptus. See, oh, oh. No. Sage has her little arrangement. Okay, I will get you more. This girl's already You're stealing fine. cups. Okay, we gotta move that laundry back there. We just hung, I'm just taping it up, a sign on the wall. This was originally supposed to go on an easel, but I ordered it too big, so putting it on the wall. Oh, she's starting the party early. Good morning, it is the next day. We were so done yesterday, oh my gosh. Between Sage not napping and just having a lot to do, 
I was done. I was horizontal for the rest of the night, um, but we got so much done. I feel like today is really just adding the final touches, adding the food. We want to take some photos and cute video shots. We had a friend come early to help set up the tent and the table and chairs outside with Matt. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. It's looking so much better today. A little cloudy. Fingers crossed, I think we might actually have, maybe not a sunny day, but a no rain day. I'm just boiling up some eggs. I already had some toast, Sage is having toast, watching TV on the couch, cause that's the kind of day it is. Chloe just called me, she's on her way. She's bringing some stuff with her for us to set up. Matt's gonna do the helium balloons. I think we're good. So last night we organized everything. We put labels where everything needs to go. We've got popcorn, chips. Um, these flowers are going outside. The tent is set up with the table and chairs. We're gonna uncover like the furniture once it hopefully looks a little clearer. On here we have the veggie tray and we put hummus there. Um, we have everything labeled where the boards are gonna go so it's just easy to get everything set. We have the desserts, the sign fell down. Chloe's bringing better tape. We have the cake going here, the cupcakes, so it'll be a pretty easy setup. We're doing some citrus water, so I wanna slice up some lemons, oranges, and limes, and then we can also use them for actual drinks. I don't wanna to put too much citrus. I don't want it to be like bitter water. I also wanna get myself ready early. I hate getting ready last minute. It's like, it stresses me out. If I'm just ready, even if guests are coming and I have to do some last minute things, it's fine. Cash's ex wow. come, cuddle. come cuddle, everything's come cuddle. Okay, I'm just setting up the outdoor table so it can kind of match like the vibe of inside. And I'm just using like leftover flowers that I have just we got our gorgeous trays delivered from Pure Catering. I've used them for the last few parties and they never disappoint. Wow, we got passion fruit, dragon fruit, figs. It's a tropical fiesta. Gorgeous. got a delivery from one of my favorite Toronto bake shops, Tori's Bake Shop. They make delicious, like vegan, gluten-free desserts that actually taste good. These are their vanilla sprinkle donuts that they're like, I feel like famous for. And we're gonna add these to our dessert table. And it's gonna be really hard for me not to snack on them, but everyone always loves them. We get this for like every single party we do. I get to officially use the custom confetti I made with Zazzle's website. How cute, I designed everything from like the colors, added the photos, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it across the table. Okay, and then I actually have to get myself ready. A little sprinkle for you. Okay, I just finished getting ready. Good news, dress still fits. When you are constantly growing every week, if you buy something too early, you honestly don't know if it's gonna fit, but luckily I got something really stretchy. Let me show you. I'm sweating, guys. Probably should have worn black. So this is my outfit. I wanted to go neutral because we obviously don't know if it's gonna be a boy or girl, so. I love it. I actually got this from Mango and it's so comfy. It does have straps, but they keep falling down. We have about half an hour before guests show up. There's some rain clouds, so I'm a little scared because I think Matt blew up the bouncy castle, but whatever, it is what it is. If it sprinkles on my sprinkle, it's okay. I'm gonna go downstairs, try to get some like cute family photos <laughs> before everyone gets here because then I know I will forget. And I'm so excited. Ah, we have so many people coming. It feels like a mini wedding. <laughs> okay, everything's officially done. I got my little helpers, AKA family, free labor <laughs> to finish the final details. It looks so cute. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. And now we have like 60 people coming and luckily it's, I see blue skies. So I don't think it's gonna rain. Got the table set up. This is like the snacks table. And then this is like the healthier, like, Get your fruit and cheeses and meats and stuff. Got Miss Caitlin. Go follow her. Subscribe. Oh, hello, hello. To your Chris, go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Balance. 
All right, we got my new favorite drink on tap in the cooler. Ginger Bug, it's wild fermented ginger beer. It's alcohol free, it tastes freaking delicious. I love the low sugar one. They have low sugar, spicy, and their original one. And it's kind of like a kombucha, but ginger style. Ingredients are amazing. I love them. You could make them into an alcoholic drink, but they're good for kids. I can drink them. And we have them as an option for the party. We got our party favors in the front. Cute little sign. It smells so good when you walk in, which is a bonus. And then over here, we have a little tip jar. People can add in their parenting tips. You can always use them, even for baby number two. This is like, guess how many fuzzy peaches. These are some games for later. We also have like a cute sock game. And people can guess, yeah, how many are in there. And then they'll win the jar. I didn't want to do like a ton of games because it's like a there's a large group and it's co-ed but there are some games and there's some good prizes so hopefully people participate we got some games we got oh. we call it donkey balls it's not donkey balls what is this called matt uh it's ladder ball yeah okay ladder ball but we call it donkey balls <laughs> okay out of these there's acorns literally scattered across my entire lawn how on brand is that these squirrels man there's like acorns everywhere. I don't know, girl, if that's actually showing anything, so I'm gonna transfer this over. That's a wrap. Time for the party to start. Pro tip, always get the family photos done before everyone gets here. She's just having, what are you having? Hummus. Cucumber and hummus. Matt's taking a shower and then I, I'm gonna take a shower. I just like threw on some comfy clothes because I had to take the dress off. But yeah, Sage is all clean. Uh, she's having some hummus, cheese, and cucumber. I honestly don't really know what she ate today. So when we were having the bath, she was like, mommy, can I have some food? I'm like, okay, we'll just give her some extra food just to top her up and then she's gotta go to bed. We, no nap today, no nap yesterday. And she was like delirious. She's gonna sleep really good or not. Cause kids tend to like, I don't know, when they're overtired, they don't sleep as good. I'm kind of tired though. Oh, mommy's pretty tired. I'm not gonna sleep. Yeah. Thank you to everyone who came and made our day extra special. I honestly can't believe I'm almost 34 weeks pregnant. And also I just realized that Canadian Thanksgiving's like the first week of October. So if I go early, I'm either gonna have a newborn or I'm gonna be very, very pregnant for the next like big family gathering. So, um, but on the plus side, we are not hosting, so I don't have to cook. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you're new here. And I'm gonna have a full blog post with all the photos and everything uh, we used for like de decor and stuff, link down below. So check that out. Thank you to everyone who made this day extra special and helped out. Couldn't have done it without you. Mwah. Sage, did you have fun at our house party? Yeah, say thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Yeah. See you next time. Next time. Mwah. Sage had so much fun. So did Cashew. She's, they're both so tired. Mwah. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.